I might have synesthesia or some some kind of disease. The Lacaniers disease. Really, like I can't run out of sauce. So you guys, you guys can have that, bro. Like I'm giving it away on, on some goodwill shit, like charity. I'm a philanthropist now. The Enviral Foundation, the Lagunier Foundation. Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to be a more versatile producer. Basically how to go from being mid to being a Lagunier. But yeah, before we get started, make sure to go tap in with me on social media at Enviral. But let's lock in. This video is about to be a little different from my usual videos. I'm just gonna show you guys a bunch of my beats and break down my creative process, like the soundscapes I'm working on. My goal is pretty much to inspire you guys to be more creative because I just hear too many people just like biting other producers and making a worse version of their beats. As you saw in the thumbnail, I think about music very differently now. I, I kind of have this like mind map of all the sounds and like soundscapes I'm working on. The reason I call it a map is because you'll see I have all the beats categorized by their kind of like style and like world. Every world has like specific characteristics characteristics and like kind of rules that i follow over time making a lot of beats i've noticed a lot of patterns with what i like to do with each certain type of beat i feel like this also helps me like never get bored or anything because i have so many different places to travel when i'm like cooking up you know i, I don't have to make like any specific type of thing so this video is going to be a little longer but i'm going to go through all the places on the map and explain why i created each world and like the rules that apply every time i make a beat in that category in that style like it develops the world more so i can understand it better these are all the different things i have and ambient, aquatic, medieval, chamber, trans, blissful, and then regalia, heavenly. I'm gonna just start with this one, trans, blissful, and kind of explain each one as, as we go along. I would say trans slash blissful is my most well-known kind of style. This beat really represents this world the best. <laughs> This one is way more emotional, but it's it's very trance-like. It, it puts you in like a dream trance, you know? Past life, like, when I think of the titles, I, I try to really make it something that I feel in the beat. Also, that synth is crazy. So as you can hear so far, it's like all the beats in this category are super blissful and very inspired by trance music. That's why I call it trance. Uh, one of the albums that really inspires me, it's one of my favorite like albums of all time, is called Dreamland by Robert Miles. It's a very dreamy kind of like trance album with a crazy soundscape. You know, super blissful again, just like... Heavenly. And then we have like Gandalf, like some wizard shit. This world has a lot of like fantasy type of soundscapes. lasery sounds i like using like vocal kind of choral sounds also so i think this might be like a weird pad or something like airy stuff you know i like to have a lot of like catchy melodies but you know make it very tr uh, trippy For the most part this this is most representative of my like sound so far because it's the stuff that i've been doing for the longest time next i'm gonna go into ambient aquatic so i kind of started this like last month so it's fairly new i'm still figuring out the rules and stuff of this genre this style is pretty influenced by like plug like not plug and beat but like more like dream plug and i've been spamming Flancy's music low-key recently so that's probably why i started making these kind of beats i've been really into like ambient music for the last like two years especially this producer called brian eno definitely favorite ambient uh, producer his most famous album is called apollo it's like pure bliss very ambient like crazy soundscapes like you should definitely listen to it and just like get lost in the music this is a very like flancy x uh, brian eno inspired beat
very like melancholy. Not much going on in terms of like the drums also. It pretty much loops, you know, all the way through. The melody changes slightly. One of the rules in this genre for me is like to use very like subtle uh, drum sounds. That's why the hi-hat is like super high pitched. I, I want the drums to be very minimal, just like very slight placeholders of rhythm. And this one is crazy, bro. Th this beat, I think I made this in like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. It's It sounds like some Minecraft shit, but like kind of unsettling also. Pretty crazy though. weird like 808 comes in like just it's all about textures honestly in this kind of uh these kind of beats i feel like this beat hidden places is very inspired by this album uh by huerco s i think i forget the name of the album <laughs> uh, i really like this album for those of you who have never and also those who have i sound dyslexic <laughs> But yeah, th this album is crazy. Definitely go check this out. It's like insane textures going on. As you can see so far, I'm referencing hella different music. That's because like, I just listened to a bunch of different stuff and I'm inspired by pretty much all of it. This is another Huerco inspired beat. You know, the drums are like so weird. It's almost like, I don't even know what's going on. Very subby 808s are also a big characteristic of this world. And then I like to do these like high 808 texture things, like coursed out, you know. And then I think this one is probably the most strange one of all. I literally made the 808 like pan around and uh, I put halftime on the whole beat, I think at some point. He's like super stretched out and like just messed up. This is the halftime section. That's pretty much all of aquatic uh, slash ambient, you know. I'll discover way more things about this genre. Let's move on to my personal favorite one right now, which is medieval. Medieval is my favorite world just because I'm a little squire, you know what I'm saying? Like, my shattered creed must prevail. I'm just gonna play the most representative beat of this world. It's pretty obvious, like, what the vibe is. Imagine Le Squire on this. The oboe going crazy. Harps chord, bro. Like, quit playing. It's very like Baroque inspired because I just like I'm just like addicted to listening to Bach right now. I'm gonna uphold his honor in this shattered world. I really like classical music, so I want to like represent that. Bro, I'm gonna put this classical shit back on. Like, it, it fell off for like 300 years, but like it's gonna be up again. Some of my go-to sounds in this world are the oboe. That's a woodwind instrument if you're not aware. You know, some Squidward shit. And then the harpsichord. Like, I love using the harpsichord recently. It just sounds very noble and uh, elegant, you know? This next one is, like, some classical shit also. I did some counterpoint in the end. I'm gonna do a whole video on that probably, but it's just pretty much, like, some Bach shit. Like, some classical type. Oboe coming in, strings, piano, yeet drums. A 
very like elegant melody and then it just fades out but like I'll probably do a whole beat breakdown on this beat because it's insane but another instrument I love using is the organ because it just sounds like you're actually in the castle like some vampire shit you know also timpanis I love using the timpanis this one's like you're getting ready for war like gallows like you got a mark Harpsichord. Oboe. That might be a bassoon. I'm not sure. I actually know it's a oboe. Nave is another very like dark one. I think there's an oboe coming in somewhere here. It's like so goofy. You know, bells and everything. Cause I want it to be like very current sounding, but I want it also to be like crazy medieval. I wanna see Can Can on this, like little Squire X Can Can. This one is very funny because it's just like, I named it pastoral. You're just a shepherd in these green pastures. It has a very adventurous tone to it because the flute. This one also has a very sea shanty vibe because I think I use the Dorian mode. Finally, this one is like very dreamy sounding. It almost sounds like more heavenly. You know, pizzicato strings, uh, I think organ or something. My shattered creed must prevail. All right, so the next one is called Chamber. This one is like very philosophical to me. It's kind of influenced by like law and order and like justice that sounds very crazy but like it's kind of influenced by like literally being locked in and like being in a prison kind of setting it's very noir and like sinister sounding like that just means like like very black and white kind of sounding like you know very inspired by the godfather theme by like nino rota nino rota also i think another like very big inspiration in this genre is this book called the trial by franz kafka which i read like i think a year ago or something kafka is insane bro like kafka is insane it's like his books are so delusional and just like crazy i don't know let me play the most characteristic beat of this world it's literally called chamber because i think when i made this i kind of realized i want to make a world called chamber so i made it very sinister and dark kind of cynical like it's like it sounds like someone is laughing at you this is like the law and order part <laughs> Doesn't it sound like you're looking at like a black and white, like a sepia tone photograph? Very augmented like melody. That synth just sounds like someone is like laughing or whatever. Or just talking, crying, I don't know. Like honestly crying, like. I like that. 
it just feels like you're in a dark like kind of medieval chamber you're just locked in and like there's nothing you can do like you know you don't have any freedom you're just you're just like a little pawn in the chess game another very big characteristic of this world is like it's very inspired by trap music i want it to sound very like 2010 like trap beats type of aesthetic i'm definitely inspired by like akachi and like the glow sound you know i like using a lot of like very trap kind of sounds for this Triangles, like perks, uh, rim shots. This one's called Alcatraz for life. When I made this, I kind of visualized like being on Alcatraz Island and just like being locked in for life. Like it's over. You get, it's like your new reality. You're just like a lock in here now. Hey, bye. Crazy 808, like on some jets and shit. That's pretty much Chamber. This is the Lockaneer's personal favorite. Lastly, another very new one is um, Regalia Heavenly. This is one that I obviously haven't like created myself. Shout out Royal. Obviously, you know, he he started like the Regalia kind of wave. I'm very inspired by it and I feel like my take on it is like very different. I always add my own sauce to whatever I'm making, like whatever I'm, I'm inspired by. You know, I want this one to sound like very pure, kind of heavenly, but um, also like romantic, maybe like blissful. So, you know, like very crazy piano going on and then the triplet bounce, the strings coming in. I also put the oboe in here because I just love that uh, sound. This one I think is the most unique kind of beat I've made because the chords are super strange. I want it to sound really like ethnic, but also like adventurous kind of regalia. I don't even know if this is a regalia. It doesn't really matter because the, the name you attach to like music really doesn't matter as long as like it sounds good, you know? But I named it Tibet because it just sounds like I'm in the Tibetan mountains. Tibet mountains, I don't know. With like the Dalai Lama and like Buddha just chilling. It's like very uh, meditative. Lastly, I have this one called Mia Moore. More like romantic kind of sounding. But you know, I got the triplet bounce, the strings. These strings are crazy.
that's pretty much all the different worlds I have. Hopefully, I'll double this on like some Christopher Columbus type shit. <laughs> Hopefully, my thought process resonates with you guys. I might have synesthesia or some some kind of disease. The Lacaneers disease. I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of my work. So, hopefully, you guys can take inspiration from it. And feel free to steal my sauce. I honestly could care less. Because the way a style is established is what, when someone just creates something original. And then other people just keep stealing it. No matter how much you steal it, you're still going to make the mid version of what I'm making. So good luck really like i can't run out of sauce so you guys you guys can have that bro like i'm giving it away on, on some goodwill shit like charity i'm a philanthropist now the enviral foundation the lagunier foundation I i'm gonna feed some hungry lagunieers man <laughs> i would suggest making a map just like mine except put the styles that you're interested in on that then you can navigate making beats more like freely and just kind of understand all the different things you're capable of it definitely helps to do it this way because you can see patterns you can just become such a better producer because you you have a way more long-term vision and you're kind of looking at the peripheral also you're not just focusing in on just one little trend you know i'm gonna make 20 little baby type beats today i think that's pretty much all i have for this video i feel like this is gonna be my longest video yet if you guys like longer videos where i'm just like talking and like kind of kind of more raw and unedited let me know i'll definitely post more of these if you made it this far to the video you're definitely a real lacanier so you know you better be subscribed and leave a like comment all of that good stuff and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out